Welcome to the very first episode of Blueprints of Clawhammer Banjo. I am your host, Tom Collins, and today I'm going to show you how to hold a banjo. The goal of the hold is for this banjo to sit in my lap and not wander all over the place while I'm playing it. If I'm chasing the instrument or trying to keep it up all the time, it's really going to negatively impact my playing. It's also going to be a huge distraction. You want your hold of the instrument to be transparent, meaning that it's completely see-through. It's something you don't have to think about so you can focus on what's important and that is making great music. So we're going to be placing our forearm on the fulcrum of the pot. We're gonna wrap the arm around the instrument, pulling it into us and letting gravity sort of hold the arm down on the fulcrum. You can see when I do this that the pot is deflecting upward. So with my forearm, I'm pulling the banjo in from the fulcrum and I'm applying light pressure both inward and downward. The face of the pot should lean slightly back so that when I look down, I can see the, the face of the head and the bridge. And this feels really locked in. Now, I get this question a lot. Should the banjo be in the lap? Should it be on a knee? Should it be on a thigh? Which thigh should it be on? If you're paying attention to the way your fulcrum is interacting with the instrument, none of that matters. And you can feel free to experiment whatever feels most comfortable to you will be fine. I can do any of those things and feel totally at ease. In fact, when I wrap around and I'm focused on contact, positive contact with that fulcrum and letting gravity sort of hold my arm and the banjo down, I don't need left hand contact at all to play the scoop, over the head. So I can also move it. I lose a little bit of positive contact because my lap isn't cradling the instrument on either side of the pot. So this is a little, if, if I play it on my, my thigh, I can't really hold it without using my left hand as sort of another point of contact. But it's not terrible if I lock in with my chest and lean on the instrument. I'm still kind of, I kind of envelop the instrument and get over it when it's on my thigh. So I tend to play it in the middle of my lap because it, my, both of my legs kind of cradle one side and cradle the other and it kind of locks in without wiggling and it's comfortable, but again, if this feels weird to you, try one of the thighs and you can make that work. All right, let's talk about fretting hand contact with the instrument. So I'm going to lift my fretting hand up from the elbow, not the shoulder. Keep the shoulders square to the floor. Lift up from the elbow and put the neck in the web of my palm, but instead of burying the neck in the web of the palm, I'm gonna move out and lock the banjo in on this, against this first knuckle of the thumb, this joint here, the joint closest to the palm. So instead of getting the neck buried in my hand, I'm out on that bone, and I'm using this portion of my thumb against this side of the neck as a point of positive contact. So when I'm locked in with the, to the instrument with my fulcrum, and my striking hand forearm, I'm also kind of locking in on that joint of the thumb. I'm reaching over, curling my hand around, keeping my elbow down, and this thumb is peeking up on this side, the high side of the neck. On the low side of the neck, I am avoiding contact. You can see there, I'm avoiding contact. There's air between my palm and the outside line or the low side of the neck so that I don't inadvertently mute the instrument on the first string. I see that all the time. You've gotta be arched and up. You may need to rotate your hand out a little bit with a slight bend in your wrist. And most of my positive contact with the instrument is coming from my striking arm locked over the instrument comfortably using gravity as my friend to lock the banjo in. Then this is simply a guide where I lock into that thumb and ride the back of the neck, the apex of the back of the neck with the bone of my knuckle. 
So I like to think of this whole style of holding the banjo as a banjo fighting stance where I'm over, shoulders are square, I'm engaging my body into the banjo and I'm pulling the instrument into me to try to become one with it. I'm also often sort of over the head instead of leaned way back, I'm over the banjo, encapsulating it, enveloping it, and trying to get it so that it feels like it's just part of my body. The take home of this video is that if your banjo is wandering, if you feel like you're chasing it in the course of playing music, something is wrong and you won't be able to proceed with the rest of Blueprints of Clawhammer Banjo if you're fighting the very instrument that you're trying to master. So experiment with these grips. Think of positive contact on the instrument. I think that's the biggest thing and using your forearm to lock it into your body. Thank you so much for joining me. We will be covering how I tune the banjo in a couple days right here on the Blueprints of Clawhammer Banjo.